the zone and before the bell for an evening of world-class professional boxing. It's all being brought to you courtesy of Mr. Eddie Hearn of Matchroom Boxing. We are sponsored by Betfred, StubHub, Wow Hydrate, AutoZone, and JD Sports. Your referee for our first contest from Doncaster, A-star referee, Mr. Michael Alexander. And now, ladies and gentlemen, four rounds of boxing scheduled in the super flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting under the red corner, wearing the black trunks with the white trim. He scaled eight stone, four pounds, four ounces. His professional record, three victories, one defeat, two draws, and two wins coming by way of a knockout. He fights at Bézier, France. Please welcome Santiago Sancho San Eusebio. San Eusebio. And his opponent across the wing, ring, wearing the red with white trim. He scaled eight stone, five pounds, bang on. His professional record, four wins against one defeat. Fighting out of Liverpool, England, introducing Blaine Highland. Highland. Right, like you both know the rules, so let's just have a good, clean fight, okay? Most of all, remember to defend yourselves at all times, all right? Just closed. And there's a, a cool air here in the MS Bank Arena. I don't think that's going to last as this night progresses. The crowds filter in and the action heats up. But Blaine Highland here to get us underway long before the belt. Santiago San Eusebio, his opponent in the black trunks and the white waistband. And his stop start career for the uh, away corner fighter, to be honest with you, he turned over in 2012. He's only boxed since, six times since then, just one defeat between fly and bantamweight mainly in france one outing in switzerland and uh, a 36 bridge lacking in momentum hard to see imposing any real threat just falls over the front foot with the right hand there and well, with blaine highland's amateur experience darren and, and the balance and everything we know how good his pedigree is you, you'll uh, expect to see him take advantage of mistakes like that early in this contest yeah he's, he's a very good fighter Blaine. he moves in and out of range really quickly he moves his head well always thinking look at the concentration always uh, controlling the distance with that lead hand look he just shuffles out of range there always in control of the distance and that's what you need stiff left hand just came down the middle from highland and already sammy sabio just falling over that front foot feet coming a little bit square and it won't be long before that left hand I think starts to take effect. Another shot that I've seen Blaine throws really well is the he throws a lovely lead check right hook as the opponent falls in. Very, very quick with it. Quick hands, quick feet, good fighter, nice lively start, good backhand to the body there. Lovely shot. To the final of the uh, England Elite Championships in 2000 and 15, that was World Championship year. Lost to Muhammad Ali, who was the number one on GB at the time, at 52 kilos as the two of them come together. Ali, of course, is the fighter that went to, to Rio as part of the 2016 squad. And there were a number of very good young fighters around the weight at that time. And so he just kind of had to blend into the security that can go about his work a little more quietly than the two of them. And you say, just trying to put a little bit of pressure on him and unset them. That's really going to be his best bet, if anything, in this contest. Yeah, but Blaine landed some good shots on the back foot there. His uh, back was on the ropes. For a nice lead, right hook, followed by the left backhand, lovely shot. I mean, so defeat to Mohamed Abdul Ghani was a year or two ago now, it was a good fight. He just found himself going backwards in, in straight lines, and Afghani was really aggressive in short bursts and raids, and just out-hustled him, out-punched him at times, and he's getting punished for those singles. He's not here tonight, though. He's picking San Eusebio off with relative ease at the early stage of this contest. You see that right hook there, it's a beautiful shot from Blaine. Took it well, Eusebio. He's loading up a little bit too much here. He's got to try and pick the shots too wild and wide. And that's playing in the hands of Blaine. Yeah, yeah. In, in this uh, opening three minutes, as the 
Fell off the end of round one. Number one goes. He's in cruise control so far. Yeah, boxing nicely. Picking the shots well. Nice quick hands, like I've said before. You touched on that defeat he had. He was going back in straight lines where he'll be annoyed with that because when I've, I've watched him, he's got fantastic foot uh, uh, movement. Very quick on it. He, he moves left and right with ease. And yeah, on that occasion, was just guilty of going back in straight lines. But that was a nice, lively start. Working from the center of the ring and, and landing the shots. That right lead check, right hook that I was talking about worked well. And you say, Bio, on the flip side, just loading up a little bit too much when you're in there with a skilled polished opponent like Blaine, you do it be a bit more cute and smart than that. Jab to the body, then then work upstairs. So good, good positive start from Blaine. Now away we go into the second. It pulls Blaine Highland in the red trunks just Changes the levels, jabs to the body, and again, difference in big hand speed is considerable in these early stages. As Highland starts to let his hands go, it's caught him. one back in the crossfire there, they had the better of the exchange. It's first and third. The yeah, elegant spiteful just when he lets his hands go with the, the, the third shot there, the chin come up slightly, so he's got to keep that tucked down. That was a good barrage of punches, looking spiteful. Moving really well, this is the foot movement I'm talking about. Look, comes straight back to the centre of the ring, allowing space behind him. Very quick hands, and, and you can see with that pedigree as well, Chris, that, that variation of the jab. You see with, with some fighters that don't have that much pedigree, they're, they're head hunting all the time, but Blaine is up and down, popping head and body. But the jab that's a lovely, well landed left backhand. Shot. And again, just caught a little bit yeah. on the way out there, leaning back and having taken his feet back with him. Of he does go up the levels if he does so. It's that kind of style, it's a very, very amateur style. I think that at some point the transition becomes a little more tricky for him. We saw Jack Bateson a few weeks ago, similar kind of style uh, as well. Those kind of fighters, these six outpours, take a little bit more long, uh, yeah. more time to, to develop in the pros. What he's got to be careful with, Chris, is that second phase attack from his opponent. So that they sort of lean back on the back foot, chin goes high in there. They've got sort of nowhere to, to move. So they've just got to push up on that. Don't lean back. You're better off moving your feet back or moving your head side to side. So that's something, you know, on his progression it will learn. Plenty around the spine will help. And nights like this under the bright lights will help his progression. Boxing nicely, though. Santiago... Sabio had more success in this round, a bit more aggressive on the front foot. Just catching Highland occasionally as he comes with a left hook lead, just short over the top, and that right hand of Highland just drift from high to low. Just leave him vulnerable, like you say, if he does stay in range after he's landed, just he pulls back out of range, and that's his vulnerability. But really, Sabio has the tools that are in evidence by his record to, to take advantage of that or to be a real danger man here. He's landed his share of, uh, of punches in the round so far just jumping in there a little off balance Robbie Davis Jr another Merseyside a late addition to the card will be coming up next against Johnny Phillips and then a big heavyweight clash between Sol Dakers and Kamil Sokolowski Ooh, we're looking forward to that one there they are it's, uh, Ireland just lands a scooping left hand into the body and they close up again in the end of the second round here in Liverpool See him tuck that chin down, it just comes higher. Now and again, as he lets his hands go, he's in threes and fours, the chin comes up, but that was a better, that was a good left hook. Inspiring uh, Matt Windle from Spencer McCracken's gym. Him at Nassib, a two-time national champion, Kurt Wiggins, who an amateur boxer out of uh, Salisbury ABC in the middle of Liverpool. Paul Edwards and Carl Morris in his corner tonight. Parce que là, tu tu les perds les deux. Je te cache pas. Il y a pas de cadeau. Il faut les gagner. T'es pas chez toi ici. Faut te bouger. Faut pas me dire on va faire la pelle à deux. Four or five hours from from now. Never never known a fight night to start quite as early as as this. It's half past four. Stacked card, Christopher. 
Luke really, Wilson, really good. Ryan Charlton, yeah, will be uh, contesting an English flyweight title eliminator at the end of the uh, the Bell broadcast before the action starts at 7 o'clock with Kieran Conway and JJ Metcalf. I risk return back for both of those as Santiago San Jose, which tries to pile the pressure on Blaine Highland. As he sided, just landed a couple of shots, got himself off the ropes and, and back to centre ring. It does have success, Blaine, when uh, Eusebio's coming forward with uh, polished skills. Doesn't have to go looking for the target and he landed a good left hand followed by the right hook. Always thinking, looking for the draw, jab to the body. Good straight one, two, followed by a, a lead right. Good boxing, boxing nicely at the start of this round. Doesn't need to go forcing anything, playing, playing nice and relaxed, get, get behind that jab, head and body. It's moments like this, you know, he wants to get stuck in, but just forcing it slightly. Get behind that jab and you'll find the shot. Good work nonetheless, that left to the body. A good shot. You can tell Ireland. He's, he senses that he's he's got an easy target to hit here, and he yeah. can land with pretty much whatever he throws. And so he wants to try and now sit down, throw a few more hooks, and, and see if he can put a dent in his man with uh, a round to go after this. It looks like in the corner, the man told him to hit the chin down because when he was letting them shots go, he's tucking it down a little bit more than he had in the first couple of rounds. Straight left to the body there, Ray, Ray. Blaine. Looking frustrated here, Eusebio. Clumsy there. Eusebio did well, they just punched with Highland, just found a right and snuck through, which caught by a little check right here from his way out to range, then a left hand. Changing the world, uh, levels well. Blaine Highland working body and going to the head, always looking for the openings, keeping Eusebio thinking, boxing nicely. And lead left there from, from Highland landed, very accurate with his shot, quick hands. There's that lead check, right hook, throws so well. Oh, followed by a lovely left backhand. Yeah, couldn't have landed too much cleaner there, and San Eusebio took it well. They lock up. This third round just starts to draw towards its conclusion. Highland just getting into a nice rhythm here. Just slips and looks for the counter to the body, but Eusebio just shut his space down. There is the 10 second clapper. Highland just tries to let his hands go again. Just caught over the uh, top of the lead hand. Eusebio has, uh, has done his best to, to try and punch with Highland and, and be in the mix, but the, the sharp shooting of the Merseysider and the hand and foot speed, the IQ and just the amateur pedigree, Darren, yeah. really has been the difference between the pair of them as we go into the fourth and final round. Yeah, that was his best round, Blaine Highland there. Sharp hands, sharp feet, switched on, looking spiteful, letting his hands go. Like I say, looks like he's tucking the chin down a little bit and he's uh, been finding the range really, really well with that looping left to the body. I've been impressed with the levels like I touched on before. Not always head hunting or going to the body. He's always mixing up, always keeping Eusebio thinking. That becomes very difficult as an opponent when you just don't know where the shots are coming from. Fainting. Looking good. He's grown as the contest has gone on playing Highland. Looking very comfortable and relaxed. I mean, the, the one frustrating thing, I guess, for Blaine Highland, if you take anything, ne not negative from this, but if anything you can work on, other than the chin coming higher sometimes, is just lacks a little bit with the, the, the power, really, and I think, although he's 26, plant those feet a little bit more. 
and that, that really speaks to the point I was making earlier about the, the transition when you've got the style as he has that real kind of fencing almost old school amateur style where he, he'd be absolutely tailor made for, for the kind of point scoring system in yeah. your day I suppose as an amateur but uh, as the game has, has transitioned and progressed just means that guys of his style we saw Luke Campbell take a good eight nine years to really come to his professional peak Jack Bateson has been a slow mover too stylistically he's more similar to those two yeah. than, than somebody like say Joshua Watsi who came through and had a real pro style in the amateurs and were able to, to make the transition a little bit more do you know what's similar to myself actually you yeah. know it took me a, a, a few years to, to sort of find my feet and, and change my style uh, anyone who knows the Repton style is very much point picking on the back foot nice tidy boxing it took me a little while but you know the sort of rounds of sparring, a lot of strength and conditioning, uh, and with the, the speed and accuracy that Blaine Highland has, with a bit more strength in his shots, I think he can some real damage. An awful lot to like from Blaine Highland. Made uh, easy work of an overmatched uh, opponent here so far this evening is the seconds tick away to the end of this fourth and final round. Just led off to the left hook, just caught on the way in there. And left hook lands, just cupping on the side and top of the head of San Eusebio. Looking to trade with Eusebio now, instead of sticking to boxing. Working the body well. Finish as hard oh, just to the body. Ripping away to the body, chips one upstairs as well. Sabia holds firm, walks straight back to him. They clinch again. Just leaves a bit of space for that lead shoulder highland. Scoops another left into the body. They put everything you can into those shots, but Sabia held firm. And they get through the four rounds and Highland a comfortable winner in the end there. Just put a little bit of distance between himself and, and Sanyi Savio. And then gave us a little bit of entertainment in that final minute as well. I think after the uh, Afghani defeat, he will feel he just needs to do a little bit of rebuilding and just assess where he's at. And that, no doubt, will just have given him the confidence back and want to be able to sit down and enjoy the rest of, of the evening. What a night to enjoy. But good performance. Yeah, like you say, he's rebuilding. It was a good performance there, a good win. No doubt he's won every round there. There's a lot to work with. He's got the quick hands, the quick feet. Like I say, he's just got to get that chin down a little bit sometimes, just getting stuck in a little bit too much uh, when that sort of plays into your opponent's hand. I think a bit of strength and conditioning, just try and, you know, get a bit more strength uh, into those shots. But the speed, the accuracy, the foot movement uh, was, uh, was, was good to watch. And... There'd be some some bigger fights from out there, and, and the best thing about it, look, there is room for improvement. That's good. You always want to see that in the in the professional. So, good luck to Blaine Highland moving forward. After four rounds of action, we go to referee Michael Alexander's scorecard. It reads 39-37 for your winner. From Liverpool, Blaine Highland. It's a comfortable win then for Blaine Highland. And he moves on. And there was Santiago San Eusebio played his part as well. I'm not sure how much more we'll see of him at 36. No doubt he's got a night to enjoy ahead of him as well. He's fight number one down of another eight to go here on Merseyside. Next up, Robbie Davis Jr. and Johnny Phillips. Very late addition to this card. And the big heavyweight clash, Solomon Dakers, Camille Sokolowski before the English title lightweight eliminator, 135 pounds. Luke Willis and Ryland Charlton, 10 three-minute rounds to finish off before the bell here. All the broadcast goes live at seven o'clock.
Ladies and gentlemen, we are set to go with our next bout of the evening. Six rounds of boxing scheduled in the super lightweight division. Set to make his ring walk, please welcome Johnny, the Matador! 